Hello everyone. In this video I'll show some useful features of SQLite GUI. Let's start with the SQL Query Editor. Here we have multiple queries. If you click Execute, then the result of each query will be displayed on a separate tab. To execute a specific query, select it and press Execute or use the Alt plus F9 combination. If the query contains functions, then Control plus Space shows a help for the function and for its arguments. It also works for tables, views and pragmas. You can open the table data by simply clicking on it with control. Note that you can open multiple data windows and still work further in the editor. With control plus slash you can comment out the current line or selection. To remove the comment, press the same combination. To format a large query, you can use control plus T or select this item from the drop down menu. If only part of the query is selected, the formatting will be applied to that part only. To compare two queries, copy one to the clipboard and then Ctrl plus D for the second one. In the window that opens, you can see the number of inserts on the right and left. If both values are zero, then the queries are the same. If you want to see the details of the table, then you can use Alt plus F1 instead of Ctrl plus space. This combination will show not only the columns, but also foreign keys, DDL and the first 10 rows. Also you can use Ctrl plus 1 or Ctrl plus 2 to get rows or their number. All of these hotkeys can be configured, here. To give a name to the result, add a comment at the beginning of the query. You can also rename a tab by double-clicking on it. You can drag the name of an object from the navigation tree. Hold Control button while picking the object to generate a query. Use Control plus W to change the line wrapping mode. To select the entire text value in quotes, double-click with Control. Now let's move on to the query results. The color of the cells reflects the data type of the cell. Colors can be customized in settings. After the query is completed, it can be sorted or additional filters applied without sending additional queries to the database. The filters support greater than, less than, contains, does not contain, and exactly matches qualifiers. Use filter by value to select rows with a specific value. The query result can be displayed as a chart. The chart can be one of predefined type. The results also can be saved as a table for further processing or exported to Excel. You can also transpose the result set. If foreign keys are set in the database, then you can view the associated data simply by clicking on the cell with the Alt key pressed. Double clicking while holding Alt will drill down. You can go down a level if there is an another linked value. To return, press backspace or the back button on the mouse. You can customize what data should be displayed when clicking on a cell, even if there are no foreign keys. To do this, open the Preferences database and edit the refs table. More details can be found in the wiki. If two query results contain the same number of columns, then they can be compared. If you want to keep the results of queries for some time, you can use the terminal mode. You can also view and change additional application settings in the terminal. Let's move on to data editing. To edit the value, you can simply start typing or press space. Press F2 to add text at the end. If the desired value is already in the column, then press Ctrl space to find it. In the Add Row dialog, the colors of the input fields indicate the type of the field. If the table has a non-composite primary key, you can duplicate existing rows. The navigation tree. Unlike other programs, each node has a specialized menu where you can add or remove objects. Can be disabled for triggers and indexes. In reality, SQLite cannot do this, and these objects are simply stored in the Preferences database in the Disabled table. To open another database, you can drag the file into the tree. You can also drag and drop SQL and SCV files here to import data. If you attach the database then by switching the selector, 
you can work with it as with the main database. A few words about data generation. The generator has predefined generators, but you can add your own. To do this, open the preferences database and add several values to the generators table. After that, you can generate values from the given range. The status bar displays the position of the cursor in the editor, the transaction state, the query elapsed time, the current row number, and the total number of rows in the result set and the number of rows if a filter is applied. The last field displays a list of loaded extensions. Extensions allow you to add new features to SQLite. Information on each extension can be found in the wiki. I will dwell separately on Inja. This extension allows you to not only parameterize queries, but also add some execution logic. More details can also be found in the wiki. The last thing I want to mention is custom functions. They allow you to replace repetitive pieces of code with a function call. These functions are defined only inside the application, are stored in the preferences database in the functions table and are relatively slow. That's all. Thank you for the privilege of your time.